Hey, this is Anthony Davis with Health or Hoax. In today's research highlight, I wanted to share an article about a really interesting phenomenon called mass psychogenic illness, or MPI. This is defined as the rapid spread of illness, signs, and symptoms affecting members of a cohesive group originating from nervous system disturbance involving excitation, loss, or alteration of function, whereby physical complaints that are exhibited unconsciously have no corresponding organic etiology. In other words, it's the phenomenon of getting really sick really fast without actually having an organic cause to your illness. Kind of like if you were to somehow get the flu without actually being infected, simply because you thought that you were infected. Now this can especially be true for masses of people where everyone around you is getting sick and you think you get sick too, and it's just a domino effect from there. Now a quick note, uh, I am recording this right after the coronavirus has become officially a pandemic, which is a pretty scary thing for a lot of people. So this video is not in any way, shape, or form meaning to diminish the seriousness of the current pandemic. Uh, keep listening, I'll explain why I think this is important, but uh, first let's see what the paper had to say. This paper is called Mass Psychogenic Illness, Demography and Symptom Profile of an Episode. This cross-sectional observational study from 2013 looked at an outbreak of mass psychogenic illness in which many patients were hospitalized after eating a cake that they believed was somehow tainted. Basically, someone started feeling sick, pointed out a funny smell and taste of the cake, and then everyone started imagining that the cake smelled weird too, and they all got really sick really fast. This study looked at 93 people who were hospitalized from eating a cake that was totally harmless. Hey, real quick, comment below and tell us one activity that you are doing to stay healthy at home. Okay, let's take a step back and imagine how this might happen. Let's imagine that you were at a big event and there was a buffet. And now let's assume that some uh, there's a random person in the group that had recently contracted a legitimate illness, some kind of, let's say, a stomach flu or something. Now let's assume that they had, up until this point, zero symptoms, or maybe mild ones that they didn't really notice yet. And they start eating, and coincidentally, the timing is such that they reach a point in their illness where they start getting intense symptoms like vomiting, fever, headache, and abdominal pains. Now, this person just ate a strange buffet, and so they think they got sick because of the food that they just ate. However, in reality, they probably caught something a while ago and just now start to feel the symptoms. Regardless, they blame the food, but it's uh, everybody else at the party has already eaten that food. And they see this one person start to get really sick, and uh, the people who maybe have a weak stomach already start to get sick too. Maybe they start sympathetically vomiting and uh, you are sitting there maybe watching all these people suddenly get sick after eating the exact same food you just ate. And now you fully expect that you ate something poisonous as well. And sure enough, you start to feel sick. You get a headache, etc. So is that all in your head? No. It's real enough for you. Your symptoms are real. Your nausea and headache are real, but they might not be caused by a virus or anything. Isn't that, that's a weird phenomenon, right? So why am I sharing this now? I wanna be really clear here. I am not implying at all, because of my timing with this video, that there is some like conspiracy and that coronavirus is fake uh, or something like that. Don't, please don't think that. Um, it is real and you should take seriously the recommendations of the CDC and World Health Organization. Now, what I do find interesting is that while we are social distancing and while we're staying in home and all that, uh, if we're binge reading these horror stories about the virus and freaking out about it, we may be causing ourselves undue stress and worry. In other words, 
Uh, please do continue to wash your hands, don't touch your face, uh, minimize trips and social gatherings, and you know keep social distance. But as long as you're gonna be chilling at home anyway, as long as you're taking proper precautions, while you're doing that, consider putting your phone down for a moment. Stop reading all the fearful news. Maybe pick up a nice book, do some yoga, go for a reflective walkabout outdoors. Do anything that is healthy and gets your mind off of the scary fear mongering that is clogging up your inbox and uh, clogging up the news feeds right now. The mind is a powerful thing. So if you feed it garbage, you're gonna get garbage out, right? If you feed it good exercise, food, optimism, spaciousness, and maybe you might have a little bit better experience, your, your qualitative experience while you're hunkering down for this global quarantine. So yeah, obviously Corona is a, a real issue and you should listen to the experts and follow their advice. Take it seriously. But you don't need to make a bad situation worse by bathing in the putrid pools of mass hysteria. So comment below. Uh, tell me a way that you think that you can take your mind off of this whole thing, right? Um, again, this uh, mass psychogenic illness uh, is sort of caused, can be caused by just thinking that you're going to be ill. So uh, again, comment below, tell us a way that you're gonna take your mind off things and, and maybe try to find some good in an otherwise difficult situation. Um, please like this video uh, so other people are more likely to see it. Subscribe to our channel so that you get updates on future episodes like this. And thank you for joining us on today's episode of Health or Hoax.